Hello, hello. Welcome to my garden, everyone. Just I'll show you my garden guards. They guard the garden against rodents, rabbits. So I set up these little bins. <laughs> these used to be the bins I carried junk around in my camper. And I put towels on top of it. I put them in partial shade, and partial sun. The dogs really like him. And of course, back here we have the great lizard hunter, Precious. I don't know if you can see her. She's peeking around the right side of that air conditioner there. She may come around in a second. That dog's name is Rancho Cielo's White Lightning. That's her AKC name. But her current name is the Great Lizard Hunter. Things are looking pretty good in the garden boxes. I'll show you how cute this is. Just yesterday, this pea sent out a little tendril that grabbed a hold of the tomato cage. So they're on their way up. So I have this thing on my phone called Plant App. And you take a picture of a plant and it will tell you what it is. And sometimes it's not very accurate, but a lot of times it is. So I've been taking pictures of these little seedlings. This one it knows. This one it knows is a radish. This one is a beet. And it tells me that it's a marijuana. <laughs> no. These little stringy ones are onions. And the plant app says it's marijuana. No. This one is a spinach. And the plant app says it's marijuana. No, 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 no. So everything is doing really well, especially these sweet alyssum. Little tiny ones. And the pansies are given off beautiful colored flowers. But the snapdragon takes the prize today. Look at that beautiful color. It looks like deep red velvet. So in the morning, after the dew has dried off, I, um, I look at these little plants and I know that the bins are uh, full of water and good things down underneath, but sometimes the very top of the soil seems dry. And with these little tiny plants, also I have other seeds planted in here. I've figured out a way to water just the little tiny tops. I use a little measuring cup and I pour some water in there. Then I just barely dribble it around the tiny plants. So they just maybe get just a little drop. See those little tiny, tiny ones? Those are celery. So I moved the little dog beds over here into the shade. So it's getting too hot over there. They really like it. They like being up off the ground. They like being on something soft. In this bin, I have root crops. Radishes. Carrots. And beets. I'm going to dribble just a couple drops on each of these little guys, especially the carrots, because they're so little. Also, I have different mixes of potting soil in the different bins, just because I bought two different kinds. And see this bin, it looks really dry on top. But then down underneath this first little layer, you can see it's very wet. 
this one the same thing because I used the same potting soil. And this one also. But this was a different potting soil I used here. And so it looks really wet. But if I feel it, it really is not as wet as it looks. It's just a darker black color. Same as this one. This one also, it looks really black, but when I feel it, it sometimes is not very wet. So, what I decided to do is, although I'd like to have just a schedule, like water them every other day, all of them, with a little watering can, but the watering can seems like, even though it's a very gentle flow or a gentle sprinkle, it seems like it this at this point it knocks the little plants over so I don't want to do that so what I've decided to do is just use my little measuring cup and just go by the individual plant if the plant looks thirsty I'll just water it or if it's so tiny that I know its roots are not way down then I will and treat each bin individually and each plant individually. I love it when they sleep with their nose on their paws. So adorable. That's it for today guys. Thank you for tuning in and joining me in my garden. I'm reading from 2 Corinthians 1, 3. It says, Praise God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy. He always comforts us when we're in trouble so that we can share the same comfort with others when they're having troubles. So I'll see you again. Be sure and like, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell. Mwah! Adios!